Okay, okay, okay. What is up, everyone? This is Crypto God. Uh, so today we're gonna start off straight into the content. So first of all, let's get into Coin Market Cap. Let's see what's going on with the top 100 cryptos. Uh, let me just quickly refresh this. Okay, so Bitcoin is down 2.38%. Ethereum's down 2.41%. XRP 4.62. Uh, Tevas Teva, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink is up, Bitcoin SV is down, Litecoin, Cardano. All right, I, that's, I mean that, that's a lot of things going on. Just everything's looking good. You should buy the dips. I mean I'm not bothered about this. I I I I, I take this as a discounted price. Like guys, you got to remember that. When markets go down like this, this is the best opportunity to purchase. Like, you should not let this go. I, I don't know why people get upset. Oh, uh, the markets are crashing. Uh, uh. Guys, relax. Take a deep breath. Look out for the bigger picture. Just zoom out. All right, now that we spoke about the coin market cap, uh, I want to quickly go into the charts. So we got the Bitcoin USD dollar, uh, the daily time frame with uh, Bitstamp. Of course, I already, already made this uh, chart for you guys. So this is an ascending triangle. So let me just quickly explain what's going on. So this is the resistance line. So it's around 2,100-ish. 2,139. It depends on where you're looking at. And of course, wick to wick. We're looking at, so this is going to be the next, so currently, so the reason why the markets are down is because we just wicked it twice, and now we're about to go up again, so it, it would probably go up like this, or let me see if I can draw it for you guys, so you guys can have a better visualization, it will probably just go like, like this, so just quickly go down, and of course, to the end of this ascending triangle is around the 28th of August, but of course we usually get a breakout uh, around these areas. So uh, this, so from the 17th all the way to the 21st is usually a breakout period. I mean, it's really rare to see it go all the way to the end. I mean, it could happen, but it's it's very rare. And of course, if we do break up to this pattern. We will go all the way to let's see where we would go. We will go all the way to 13,700 ish. And of course, um, breaking to the upside is 70%, and breaking to the downside is 30%. But of course, we're going to be biased. We're going to be looking at the fundamentals. We're going to be looking at technicals. There is no reason for Bitcoin to be pulling back by around two three thousand i mean it doesn't make sense right now and of course the hash rates are, are a little bit declining but of course it's still being very bullish and that's that with the chart i mean quite simple don't have to go all crazy about it but that's the bitcoin chart for the day and let's get in straight to the news so the first one is british farmer attempted 1.4 million pounds of Bitcoin extortion from Tesco's by contaminating baby food. Damn, this guy is crazy. Nigel Wright, a 45-year-old sheep farmer from Lincolnshire, England, has been accused of trying to extort Bitcoin worth of 1.4 million from retail giant Tesco's. I mean, wow. And I think this went back to all the way from 2018, and, and it's been an ongoing thing. Like, what's going on? I mean, this, this, this is people like him trying to make himself rich. That the prosecution alleges that over a period of two years, from spring 2018, the defendant hoped to make himself rich by means of blackmail. Of course, we in the Bitcoin community do not like we don't we don't we don't we don't like people to do this. We don't like blackmailers. We don't like terrorists. We don't like anyone who uses any currency for ill. Just for ill purposes. I mean, fear of his life. I mean, of course. A two-year jail term for this Australian female hacker just because she's a female? Uh, damn, okay. Anyway, 
that's the news for um, this one here. So let's go to the next one. And uh, that's if it loads. Okay, okay. Banks are increasingly starting to offer cryptocurrency services in 2020. Now, this is really, 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 really bullish. Of course, um, we recently heard about the Korean one, which just came out, which this article speaks about. So let me just quote it off. Major South Korean bank, KB Kumin Bank, partnered with blockchain venture fund, hashtag crypto trading platform, Cumberland, Korea, to build strategic technology partners as we go through the new era of digital transformation and a blockchain expansion. I mean, we got to look at the bigger picture. It's not just banks. It's also these virtual banks like Revolut, Monzo, um, what else? Uh, we got PayPal who's coming in the game, we got MasterCard, Visa. I mean, the world is becoming bullish. Like it or not, Bitcoin is here to stay. And of course, if these banks don't join in, if they don't join in at all, they will be left behind. They will be left behind like dinosaurs. They'll be gone. They won't be here to stay. You got to remember that, people. And uh, let's read the next article for today. All right. Russia proposes a national tool to track your Bitcoin. I mean, I am full on this. I mean, I think we should be tracking Bitcoins. I think we should be obviously knowing where the transactions are going. I mean, I'm for this purpose. I mean, I don't want people to be funding uh, some um, organization where it hurts humanity, it, it, it supports terrorists. I mean, I don't want that. Nobody wants that. Of course, we should always be looking into these transactions. Now, according to a local publication by RPCT, on Tuesday, the Russian Financial Monetary Service, Ron Fins Monetary, proposed an artificial intelligence tool to trace Bitcoin transactions in the country. Regulators have teamed up with the Physics Institute and the Moscow University to develop transparent blockchain. Projects that analyze Bitcoin transactions to map users' behavior, it has based on a similar system deployed earlier this year to track drug trafficking in the country, the report stated. I mean... I'm all in. I mean, that's good. I mean, look, even it says it here. Like, we, like, people are using cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Monero, to use it for terror, kill, kidnap. I mean, why? People like this really need to be going to jail. And of course, they're always going to be here. Like it or not, it's a business. They're always going to be here. They're, I mean, as much as we try, there's always going to be evil in this world. And. That's that. Next news. It will be the Jay-Z backed Ethereum app platform officially opens the doors to public. So blockchain startup Alchemy has recently announced that the blockchain developer platform was perfected and now open to any companies or individual looking to build small contract based projects. I mean, this is okay. This is bullish. I mean... I'm in it. I don't really know much about the project because I haven't been really researching it much. But I do know that Jay Z, um, Will Smith, and all these others uh, have been, of course, backing this project. It's a, it's a good blockchain. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Alchemy is being created based on a DeFi business model. This entails that a centralized corporation is not needed to manage an overseas operation. Ethereum is the main technology that is being leveraged for decentralized applications on Alchemy blockchain platform i mean this is this is a good project i mean I, I don't see the problem with this project i mean it's good it's nice to see your rappers um of course the thing is you gotta see it in the bigger picture people like jay-z they have a lot of followers and that's good for the space of course his next song or whatever his next promotion his next big thing will be him promoting this on, on, on your Instagrams, your Snapchats, your Twitters, whatever it may be, and then more people will be getting into it. You like it or not, it's serious to say. And the last news is actually more interesting because I called for this. This is, this is the most interesting news for the UK. I mean, I did say this in my Telegram group that, hey, guys, we're going to be in a recession. Uh, we're going to find out the results on this day. Don't be surprised. And boom. It's here, 29 minutes ago. UK officially in recession for the first time in 11 years. I mean, I did call for this 
I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody called for it, but I even called for the date on my Telegram group. I'm like, guys, listen, on this date, the UK is going to announce a recession. And boom, there you go. I knew it. So let's read it. Let's 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 quickly read it. The economy shrank 20.4% compared with the first three months of the year. Household spending plunged as shops were ordered to close, while factories and construction output also fell. This pushed the UK in the first technical recession, defined as two consecutive quarters of economic decline since 2009. Is there any signs things are going to get better? I mean, yes, things will. I mean, we gotta, guys, we got to zoom out a little bit. I mean, things will get better. I mean, it's not like we're going to be in this situation forever. Things will, of course, get better, but I'm not saying it's going to get better in six months or eight months or ten months or even a year or two or three. It, it will take a long time. It might take five years. It might take a decade. Who knows? In, in fact, it might just get worse. But as time progresses, uh, we will learn our lessons. And, of course, not me and you as the retail investors. Of course, I mean, I'm mean, talking about the politicians, the newer politicians who, who are aspiring to be politicians and then come to rule this country, of course, they would know what to do. I mean, this, this is what happens when you have a fear constantly, guys. I mean, this is this is going to keep coming. It, it might They might fix it a little bit. It might go down a little bit, maybe up to here or here. But then ultimately, there will be another one in the decade. There will be another recession in the decade. And it will keep going until our country looks like Venezuela. And, I mean, that's about it. I mean, I will uh, link this... Um, article so you guys can have a quick read about it but that's about it guys um just a quick note before i uh cut the streaming off my telegram group i post everything i post charts i post every coin that is the best to be investing at that time to take profits um you can be trading it you can be hodling it it doesn't matter you can be doing whatever and i'll still make you free money and that's about it guys crypto gods out peace